guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do um, binary, uh, which will lead into subnetting, which is um, actually really easy once you understand the pieces of the puzzle. Uh, this is uh, Stomp and Romp, so sit back and enjoy. Okay, now binary, um, for all intents and purposes, is only useful um, overall for TCP IP version 4. Okay, and those addresses, the subnet mass, IPs, and stuff are 32 bits. All right, so binary is what? It's ones and zeros. Okay, um, the ones equal active, active state. The zeros equal um, inactive. Okay, or you know, not active. Now let's take a typical IP address like 192. 168.1.0. Alright, now to um, decode that into binary, what you're going to do is make a nifty little 8 bit chart. Okay, that chart is as follows. You can write this out 128, uh, do 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure I had eight there. All right, so as you can see, there are eight total uh, numbers, all right? Now, to decode this address right here, we're going to start with, um, okay, first you see these little periods. The numbers in between these periods are called octets. So a TCP IP version 4 address has four octets, all right, four numbers or four dots. And that's um, eight bits each. So each of these numbers is eight bits. So this whole total address equals 32 bits. All right. So to, to decode the 192, what you're going to do is start with this table right here. All right. So we'll start with 192. And that decoded, um, let's see, does 128 go into 192? Yes. What about 128 plus 64? What's that? Well, 128. Um, plus 64 happens to equal 192. So we'll activate that. Remember the 1 equals active. What about 128 plus 64 plus 32? Ooh, that'd be like 224, I believe. So that you're not going to want to activate the 32. That'd put us over. Same thing with the 16, the 8, the 4, the 2, and the 1. We already have our 192. We already have that right here. These two, 128 plus 64. So there's our binary string for 192. Okay, and what about the 168? Well, do uh, does uh, 128 go to 168? Yes. What about the 64? Uh, no, no, it doesn't because that would put us over. 128 and 64 equals 192, not 168. So we're gonna not activate that. Okay, what about 128 um, plus 32? Yes, we're going to activate that because 128 plus 32 is 160. Okay, now what about the 16? Should we activate that? No, because that'd be like 176, so no. Um, what about the 8? Should we activate that? Yes. So 128, <clears throat> 128 plus 32 plus 8 equals 168. So we know right away we've reached it. We can go ahead and mark the others as inactive. Uh, what about a 1? Is 128 going to 1? No. It put us way over, wouldn't it? 64 doesn't go in. 128 plus 64 definitely doesn't go in. 32 by itself? Nope. 16. You starting to see where I'm going with this? Alright, so we're just going to activate the 1. Okay. And the 0, well, zeros are easy. Zeros are always all zeros. <laughs> it looks like shit, but whatever. Okay. So... <laughs> There, and it's always eight numbers or eight bits. All right, 255s are easy. They're always all ones. So zeros are always all zeros. 255s are always all ones. So here, these strings are our eight-bit strings for this. So those strings equal this in binary. And these all totaled up are equal 32 bits. Okay? You, you could decode a subnet mass like that or whatever. The numbers are always ranging 0 to 255, okay? They never go over 255. Never. never. Not in 
TCP IP v4. Never. Now, TCP IP v6 was invented. It's 128 bits in length, and it uses hexadecimal, and it goes way the hell over that, okay? <laughs> but I, I don't even want to know how many combinations are possible, but it's a lot. Um, one day I'll give you a, a breakdown of TCP IP v4. So anyway, that's binary. That's how you decode IPs, 32-bit IP v4 through binary. Okay. Now that process is going to be used to do things like subnetting and ANDing. We'll go over that in the next tutorial. I uh, hope that helps. Peace. Wait, let me type that. Peace.